Hello everyone, welcome to the Imaging Study YouTube channel. As a part of our online learning programs, today we are going to talk about the imaging features of exencephaly and encephaly sequence. Anencephaly was the first fetal anomaly diagnosed by prenatal ultrasound in 1972. Exencephaly, the only manifestation of anencephaly, is the absence of cranial vault with exposed neural tissue. Anencephaly is the absence of cranial vault above the bony orbits associated with the absence of telencephalon, more specifically cerebral hemispheres and midbrain. Absence of the fetal cranium is the hallmark of anencephaly. The cranial neuropore normally closes between 23 days and 28 days. A failure in this process eventually leads to anencephaly with incomplete development of the brain and lack of formation of the cranial bones above the orbits. Exposed neural tissue wears away due to direct exposure to the amniotic fluid and constant trauma from fetal movements bringing the brain tissue into contact with the uterine walls. Thus, exencephaly ultimately turns into anencephaly by the second trimester. However, a small amount of dysmorphic tissue may still be present in second trimester. No calvarium with absence of neural tissue above the orbits will be the best diagnostic clue which may be detectable at time of nuchal translucency scan and should never be missed with routine views in second trimester. Patient usually presents with an abnormal first trimester scan with CRL lower than expected age and deformed head. Maternal serum alpha fetoprotein is elevated. Polyhydramnios is a common finding. Now come to the ultrasound findings. In first trimester, neural tissue is usually present. Head contour is abnormal. Head is irregular, flattened, with splayed appearance. Exposed brain has lobulated Mickey Mouse-like or spiked Bart Simpson-like appearance. Crown arm length is less than expected. Don't forget to do transvaginal scan in suspected cases. This sagittal ultrasound of a 13 week fetus with exencephaly shows no normal cranium and lobular exposed brain. As brain tissue erodes, the appearance changes from exencephaly to anencephaly. Check the increased echogenicity of the amniotic fluid due to dissolved neural tissue within it. This transvaginal ultrasound of first trimester fetus with exencephaly shows a flattened lobular appearance of the exposed neural elements. Recognition of the first trimester appearance of anencephaly is important for early diagnosis of this lethal malformation. In second and third trimesters, usually no soft tissue or definitely no cranial vault is seen above the fetal orbits. Cranial defect is covered by irregular angiomatosis trauma known as area cerebrovasculosa. Fetal eyes appear proptotic due to shallow orbits and abnormally formed skull base. However, eyes themselves are normally formed. In coronal plane, face shows a frog-like appearance. Cleft lip or cleft palate may be seen, so don't miss that. Other neural tip defects like spina bifida, especially at the cervical region, and lumbar myelomeningocele are commonly seen. Due to impaired swallowing, polyhydramnios is common. Amniotic fluid becomes echogenic usually due to dissolved neural tissue. This is a second trimester fetus. The neural tissue has worn away and there is no anencephaly. There is marked proptosis of the eyes and near complete absence of neural tissue above the orbits. This is the lateral view of the angiomatosis trauma covering the defect. 3D and 4D ultrasound may potentially increase the diagnostic accuracy in first trimester and also help in more detailed depiction of cranial contour. This 3D surface reconstruction of a 13-week fetus with exencephaly shows no cranium and a splaying of remaining brain tissue above the orbits.
3D image of an early mid-trimester fetus with anencephaly shows complete absence of the calvarium above the forehead with a small amount of residual angiomatous stroma. The 3D image of a first trimester fetus shows not only an encephaly but also an extensive open neural tip defect of the cervical spine. Spina bifida, especially cervical, is often seen with an encephaly, both a result of failure of anterior neuropore closure. Coronal image of fetal frog like face demonstrating absence of the forehead and cranium above orbits. Transvaginal image of fetal face showing the lower face is normally formed, but no forehead is present above the orbits. This sagittal fetal image shows the absence of fetal cranium and brain above the orbits. Here is another 3D image of an anencephalic fetus with absence of cranium above the orbits and a normal lower face below. MR imaging is not needed to diagnose anencephaly. It may be useful if ultrasound is compromised or equivocal especially in oligohydramnios. You will get little or no supratentorial remaining brain on MR. Brainstem and cerebellum will be often dysplastic. It may help evaluate other associated anomalies, but as anencephaly itself is a lethal malformation, MR imaging is not recommended. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel for the next ones. Have a nice day.